welcome to my channel and welcome back to the Hamilton Creator Sim series. Yes, I'm back. I have been gone for a while, like with my Hamilton series, not in general. I still have been posting one video a day, but <laughs> the Hamilton series has been gone for a while. And during Simsmas, I couldn't do Hamilton videos since it wasn't really a Christmassy themed sort of thing. But I've been getting a lot of requests for a couple of Hamilton Sims, mainly Lawrence as I'm creating right now, Lafayette and Mulligan. <laughs> Those three have been highly requested, so here I am with the first of the three, three which is John Lawrence, uh, and I will be creating Lafayette and Mulligan in the next week or couple of weeks or something like that. I think next week we will be done with these three. I was debating whether I wanted to put them in one video, but I decided to do separate videos of them because of the intro thing I do for this series, since they do have their own introduction. Like they seriously introduce themselves <laughs> in the musicals. I wanted all of them to be separate so they could have their own intro since that seemed like a cool idea to me. And as always, I create their face based on the actual real person that John Lawrence was or any of the oh my god my voice <laughs> what was that uh, so his face is inspired by the real John Lawrence he has a very interesting nose so that took me some time like it seriously this is the second try of me creating this sim because there were a couple of things that were really hard to recreate the first one was the nose which is weird um, actually it doesn't have that difficult of a face but just that nose was difficult uh, and uh, his chin was also a bit difficult. I'm not sure if I did that justice. Uh, and then the second part of it, the skin tone will be of the original actor. So the first actor who played John Lawrence, which is Anthony, um, I believe. And um, his hair, like the hair of the Sim is also inspired by the first actor who played this character. Uh, and that was the third difficult thing of this sim his hair like he has really full hair but in the musical he puts it in a bun like a low bun like a really full low bun and we don't have that in the sims and i couldn't find any fitting cc for it so i ended up giving him this high bun i debated whether i wanted to do that or not because it is originally used for a female sim and it was a little high like it was way higher than his Anthony's hair is in real life like how he puts it in the musical but I did it anyway because it did sort of capture the I don't know it looked like his hair just higher <laughs> does that make sense I liked it and it fitted his face you'll see me changing his hair in a second like I did the low thing because he does have his hair like in pictures and interviews and stuff he does wear his hair like more slick back sort of this style but I ended up going with the bun in the end <laughs> I think the funny thing about this character, um, spoiler alert, spoiler alert, he doesn't have the biggest role in this musical. He basically only exists in the first half of the m movie musical because again, spoiler alert, he does die sort of halfway through or like in the first half of the musical. And somehow he ended up being basically everyone's favorite character. Um, not specifically mine, but I do like him as a person. Like. That's the thing, he is based on a really good person. For example, I really like George Washington in the musical. I think he's a really good man in the musical, but then when you read about him, you realize that he did some things which are questionable and I don't completely agree with. But then I read about John Lawrence and I'm like, he is such a hero. So I think that's the reason why so many people like his character because he as a person, like John Lawrence as a person was just a really good person. He did so much, he put so much effort into ending slavery, he gave a lot of slaves a chance to fight for their freedom which is in that time um like obviously now if you say i'm against slavery it's just like okay you're a normal human being but in that time being against slavery and fighting for the end of slavery that's like seriously that's that makes a really good human being basically <laughs> he fought for something really good that's why i also gave him the good trade the ambitious trade because fighting against slavery in that time is a really ambitious thing to do uh getting his plan to um take a lot of slaves and have them fight in the war in and their reward would be 
freedom that's a really ambitious thing to try and he did that <laughs> and i gave him friend of the world because obviously he's friend of the s s slaves everyone he wants good things for everyone and i made him a bro because obviously you know his friends uh, th they're just like the most bro-ish group of people ever okay so let's talk favorite lines first of all the story of tonight in general for all three this is like a point for all three of the sims i'm creating very soon the story of tonight is one of my favorite songs in the musicals it's so beautiful beautiful the harmonies are just amazing those three just singing together and ugh, i just i ooh, it's amazing but that part where lauren sort of starts first of all it's hamilton kind of talking to his friends like yeah let's do this and then it sort of goes back a little and then lauren starts like the speech and it's so fitting that he sings about freedom because that's like sort of his thing <laughs> he fights for freedom in whatever way he can for slaves for america in general he just fights for freedom and then it's like raise a glass to freedom something they can never take away no matter what they tell you that's so beautiful i just i love that part so much also excuse my voice it's i'm starting to get a cold so it's a little shaky but you probably don't have to hear me sing again after this because most of lawrence's and mulligan's and lafayette's parts are rep sort of stuff and i'm not doing that i'm sorry <laughs> like i try but i fail miserably so let's not like especially when we get to lafayette like i'm not gonna try any of that <laughs> And I'm creating a swimwear right now. And if you're kind of confused as to why this looks so ridiculous, I do that on purpose for every single character just because they wouldn't really wear swimwear. So I just give them funny outfits. <laughs> and um, more favorite lines, story of tonight, the second part where it's more funny and he has some great lines in that too. But this video is almost over. So tell me your favorite things about John Lawrence. And thank you so much for watching and I will see you very soon. Goodbye!